Today's sponsor is Squarespace, the beautiful tool I use to make my website. It's time to open the TV. Yay! Yahoo! More or less success. I mean, we need a TV stand, which is coming on Monday. But check it. It is in TV stand and TV looking pretty great. Crafted by my own fair hand, I must add. Um, <laughs> and tomorrow, the plan is very excitingly to sort out Beth's office desk setup. So her desk and her desk chair, because mine is already in, but hers is not. And to make that space look awesome, set out all of our shelves, make those look great, set up some of the smart home equipment in there, you know, my new Alexa, which arrived today, very exciting, and a couple of other bits. So, yeah. Very excited for that. Stay tuned. Someone is at the front door. So given this video was titled My 20 Grand Smart House, Phil, I should at least attempt to run you through some of the smart tech we've got going on up here up in the kitchen slash living room. I'm gonna go through detailed plan as to exactly how we set this up using Alexa, the Echo devices we have, and also the like smart plugs and lights and stuff that we use tomorrow when we're setting up Beth's office. But I just wanna quickly show you basically the setup we've got up here, the smart tech we've used, and why I think it's pretty cool. So to get started, you're gonna need one of these bad boys, some kind of Alexa device. Um, <laughs> no, don't listen to me. She who shall not be named, some kind of smart home device. We've gone with the Amazon technology because I think Alexa is generally a bit better at understanding what you're saying than Siri, but really up to you. This is the Echo Show 5, which I think is a pretty cool bit of kit. You get this cool touch screen with it, which yeah, just generally shows you like news and, and it makes it a little bit more user friendly for the kitchen. This could be hell. Then, next up, we also have some pretty cool smart lighting. Um, so we have a light over in that corner there. And we also have some sick strip lighting under the kitchen units right here. And we have another little light just behind here, which you can't currently see, but I'll show you in a second. And all of these give the kitchen a lovely warm glow. So yeah, that lamp is plugged in right there just to give a warm glow on this side of the room. And then another one right here in the corner. And again, both are basically using a check-in smart plug. And they're really easy to find on Alexa, but I'll show you how this all works tomorrow when we set up Beth's desk. We then also have the TV connected to Alexa, which is pretty much only useful for turning it on. And last but not least, our precious child, Bertie. And best of all, they can all be turned on and off at once using Alexa. Alexa, good night. Merry Sunday morning. And yeah, we're gonna have a quick spot of breakfast now chilled morning and then get cracking with setting up Beth's desk and the office which is really exciting so yeah let's do this so being the boss she is Beth takes charge on building her vacant IKEA corner desk they're about 190 pounds for the standard version Beth didn't think she'd use the height adjustable version and I film her <laughs> and then get to work on building the somewhat less complex IKEA Marcus chair defying those gender stereotypes with Beth doing the heavy labor. Yet again, I know. Alrighty, so smart office setup, how do you do it? So we used uh, Tekken plugs and Tekken smart strip lights. I'm basically gonna take you through how to install these. So Tekken Smart Plug, first of all, basically used for turning something on and off. It looks like this, you get four for like 30 pounds. Um, 
And basically what this does is you plug it into the plug socket, then the plug into this, and it allows you to control it on off with Alexa. Um, so we use these for these cool looking lamps. So this is mine, Alexa, turn, Alexa. <laughs> Hello, Alexa. Hey, I'll be done. Good afternoon. Alexa, turn off Liam's desk light. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Not the best demo ever. I don't know what she was on about, her duck. But, um, <laughs> right, so, take in light. We put the uh, plug, unplugged best desk lamp, plug that straight into there, and then plug that into the extension lead. Easy. And then if we look here, you see how the light is now flashing? That basically means that it's now discoverable on Wi-Fi. So let's come out from under here and I'll show you how the app works. Okay, and then we come into one of my many smart home apps. This is Smart Life, it's called. That's the one that Tekken use. And basically all you do is you just add a device, a socket, and basically it then just takes a few seconds to find the device. Hopefully it should find the plug. It has just automatically added that to Alexa. That was the notification that came up. And then we just name this, so we will name this Beth's Desk Light. And that is then saved. And there, done, that's it. And you can see now, through the app, we can turn it on and off. Alexa, turn off Beth's desk light. Okay. Et voila. Alrighty, next up we have the smart strip lights. And these are between 15 and 20 pounds, depending on when you buy them, if they're on offer. So they come as a roll of as five meters of strip lights. So these come with kind of like a sticky back plastic that allows you to stick them straight onto whatever you're sticking them onto because I'm not exactly sure if we want to reuse these in other places in the future. I actually don't use that. I just use some good old duct tape and basically duct tape them every so often around the bottom of the desk. I did it on my own and it worked perfectly. Basically all you do is plug them in and these have a like smart plug built into this plug. So you don't need one of the tech in smart plugs. You just plug these in and they are then ready to go. Et voila, on they go. <laughs> so what we have to do is if we press and hold this, I think if I remember rightly, they should then start flashing red. Again, means they're discoverable in the app and exactly the same as before. We just add a new device in here, but this time we go into lighting, we go to strip lights, Wi-Fi. So you can set from within the app, the color, for example. So I have mine over on my desk on a blue. Beth, what color would you like? Blue? Yeah, that's nice. Let's go with the blue, so we match. Um, you can change the kind of how saturated you want it to be and the brightness. So yeah, overall, I think the tech-in lights and the tech-in setup is really good. This app is nice and intuitive to use and let's strap them to the bottom of the desk so you can see how they look. Okay, all right, so basically you wanna make sure that your lights are uh, as close to the wall as you can get them because that's really where the color comes from. You get this nice glow up the wall. So you don't need to worry about putting them on the front side of your desk, but make sure they're along wherever the wall is. Okay, so the other cool thing about having all of this stuff on Alexa is that you can create groups. So if we go into devices, you'll see that I already have one set up for Liam's desk. We're gonna add another group called Beth's desk. And that'll basically mean that we can add both of the things on Beth's desk, so both her desk strip light and her desk light to that group and then tell Alexa to turn those on and off. And then we also have another group called Office, which I'd already created and I will just add other devices to this group. Um, so alongside my desk lights, I'll also add Beth's desk lights, both the strip light and the desk light, and that'll allow us to turn all of that stuff on and off. The last thing I'm gonna do is add into the automations we have within routines. We have one that says goodnight, which basically turns stuff off. 
I'm just gonna add for it to turn off the office. So that'll allow us to then turn off all of the smart devices we have upstairs, the TV and all of our lights upstairs and everything in the office, which is pretty cool. And then I go into office, power off, next. Yeah, I think that's it, that's it, that's all good. So then when I say Alexa, good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Alrighty, so we have now set up Beth's desk and our office is looking amazing with all of our smart lights and yeah, so happy with how it's looking in here. Today have arrived a whole load of frames and some really cool pictures of different places that Beth and I have been to. So we're gonna go and put those up upstairs right now. And then I think in the morning, I'll probably finish off the office by just putting up the two final pictures that I wanna put up in here of places that me and Nat have been to. Yeah, so really, really happy with how the house has come together and I think the smart house is working an absolute dream. So this space, living room, coming together nicely, but we have a very bland wall. It needs to be filled. Mm. But how? In a rented space where we're not allowed to put picture hooks up. Mm. So the key is we've basically bought First of all, the pictures. We've bought A4 posters of places Beth and I have been to, for example. Those were 32 pounds for 10 from Etsy. We've then bought a pack of 12 frames for 30 pounds from Amazon. Pretty good. And this is the key. Command, these are about seven pounds for this lot. And basically these are Velcro sticky things and you basically stick one on the back of the picture, one onto the wall, and they remove without damaging the wall, and you Velcro them together, like that, stick one on the wall, and one onto the picture, Bob's your uncle. Let's do this. So yeah, I don't want a smart house just for the sake of it, but <laughs> there is a kind of cool pleasure in being able to clean up the whole of the upstairs by just telling Alexa to do that. And I do genuinely think that being able to turn all of the lights in different rooms on and off in one go has saved us quite a bit of time and just definitely <laughs> makes all of the rooms feel that much more homely and just pleasurable to be in. So yeah, I would 100% recommend trying out some smart tech. And the, the coolest thing is, I think it's really affordable like this stuff just doesn't cost that much. Amazon, I think, have created a great platform in Alexa. I'm really excited to kind of continue living and expanding our smart home tech. And now that our office is looking fire, I'm ready to get to work on making my website look even more fire. And I do that using Squarespace, today's sponsor. Squarespace is the powerful and beautifully easy to use platform I use to make my own website. Now there are tons of amazing mobile responsive templates. It has tons of features from email campaigns to e-commerce. So you can like me sell your PDF notes, t-shirt designs, posters, or, or just about anything. They have online booking and scheduling if that's what your business needs. And their website analytics are amazingly easy to use and learn from. So go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Liam Porritt. It's P-O-R-R-I-T-T to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, do go and check out my desk setup video where I take you through all of the awesome tech and little bits and pieces I have on my desk to make my space as productive as possible. So yeah, I will speak to you again very soon.